I'm on the premium content page where I have add-ons and templates that I've made just for premium members. And what we're looking at today is the update multiple Google Forms add-on. And when you click the button, it is going to open in a new tab and prompt you to make a copy. So we're going to make a copy. Now I want to remind you with everything that I have coded, it's going to like take a minute for the code to load. So just be patient. I have a menu that says update forms up at the top. It probably won't be there for a full minute. And the other thing you want to remember is with everything that I've coded, that you're going to get an authorization screen of doom. It's going to let you know that nobody at Google has reviewed my code. That's right, because I didn't submit it to be publicly reviewed with Google. I am just posting these for you to use. So every single time, every single add-on is going to probably tell you, go back to safety, and you have to click on advance where they give you more warnings that nobody at Google has authorized or looked at my code. And so you just have to trust me that my code is safe. And then you're going to click on unsafe. It's safe, just saying that no one at Google is vouching for me, and it authorizes the add-on. So let's go and look and see if it is loaded yet, because remember, it can take a full minute for it to cut load. Now, it is not there yet. As I said, it just takes some time, so we're just going to be patient here and wait for the menu to show. Ah, there it is. It says Update Forms. So once that shows up, and it can take a bit, Go ahead and click on Update Forms and authorize the add-on. Authorization required. Now I'm on an EDU account, so it's not giving me quite the screen of doom. But it is asking me to authorize. And allow. Okay, so once I've authorized, I have these menu options, but actually what you'll see is you have these two tabs down at the bottom. Your first one is you want to go to the multiple choice. Now, I envision doing this like I like to have students pick their name out of a list or which teacher are you uh, checking into the library for. A lot of times I have Google Forms, like a bunch of them, for the whole unit. And so then I need to know like what period are you in, what's today's date something that they have to pick for all of these forms that I make for the entire unit and I don't want to open them up individually. I want them all to update at once. Okay, so I'm going to change these that instead of days of the week, I'm going to put student names. That's my brother and sister. All right, and then what I need to have is to go to the forms list. I can do that by Using the menu, don't ask me why I did this. It just goes to the tab that says forms list. You could have clicked on it. Okay, and so then I have made three Google Forms. And you notice in these Google Forms, they say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, that one doesn't. That's all right. I'm going to leave it the way that it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link. So I'm up here at the top. I'm going to copy the link to the first form. I'm going to paste it there. You notice I'm on the edit screen of the form. Control L highlights the URL. Control C copies. Control V paste. And then I have a third one. You can have as many as you want, sort of. Um, copy, Control L highlights the URL. Control C copies the link. Control V paste. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the form. So whatever is on this multiple choice list is going to update the first the first question, question number one. That's how this works. Question number one has to be multiple choice and the first question. So then I'm going to look at these forms. Sure enough, they all say Alice, Nancy, Paul. What if I want to update these so they don't have Paul on them anymore? So instead of doing it manually one form at a time, it's real important that I highlight the row and I delete the row and not just delete Paul's name. So now I'm going to update the forms, update the forms. And now all of these just say Alice and Nancy and no Paul. And here I am on list of randomnames.com and I've got 50 names because that would be unfun to put into these three Google Forms. So I'm just going to paste this list of 50 names, update forms, update, 
And now when I go look at these forms, no longer says Alice and Nancy. It's a list of 58 different names. Okay, what if I want to change those? I mean, it's it's not great to have to delete these one at a time, or if you wanted to reorder them, it's much faster and easier to do it in a spreadsheet. But remember, you want to delete the rows, not delete the content. So I'm going to highlight these rows. I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to go back to Alice, Nancy, Paul, my dad, and my mom. Okay. And I'm going to update the forms. So you can see I can do this really fast and easy all day long. I just change the list of what goes in question number one, which is multiple choice, and then updates as many forms as I want 